Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stoneblock 3. I have done quite a bit of work off camera here using these machines. And as you can see, we now have diamond tools. I even have a diamond hammer here, diamond armor, and still plenty of resources to spare. I also have been smelting some of the resources because hopefully we're going to be needing some of this stuff today. Because I have done a lot of research, a lot of planning, and I'm excited. However, I think the first thing that I want to do is get started with Tinkers, because I really, really, really would like a Tinkers hammer that can basically kick out a 3x3 area so I can make this tunnel towards this area a whole lot faster, because we want to get to the nether areas and the end area. So having the hammer means I can do that in between episodes, which is going to be really nice. Plus, this really shouldn't be too complicated to set up. We just need to get some grout going cook that up and then we have seared bricks and then we should be good to go. One of the reasons why I also want to make a hammer is so not only I can make the tunnel but so that I can also make a dark area where hostile mobs can spawn so I can get some of the resources that we may need uh, from that. But there we go, that is the seared fuel tank and I believe if we go ahead and do this... No, I need something else here. Oh, ingot gauge. Oh, that's interesting, I haven't seen that before. Well, good thing we have just enough glass for that. Seared ingot gauge and then seared smelter. So I believe, where should we place this? Hmm, time for more expansion, I think. So if I go ahead and place this here and the seared smelter above that, we should be able to just grab our stick thingy as well as a bucket and turn this into lava eventually. There we go. Grab it. Put it in there, and with that, we now have fuel. Boom! Basic tinker setup complete. However, what I really want as well are, of course, these tinker stations, because those are going to be key to be making what I want to make here. All right, and this is the final chest drawer thingy here. I made all the machines, or all the tables, I should say. These are not machines. And I believe I can just place it all like... So, perfect. This is a nice little tinker's area. However, the hammer is not in here, and that is because we need to take this tinker station, and we need to go ahead and, I think, either make it into an anvil? Yes, we need to make it into an anvil. Um, so for that, I need to get this. Refined obsidian. Never mind. Refined obsidian takes molten diamonds and molten osmium, which takes blazing blood. I need a different anvil. We can, however, make a brass anvil, and that is with molten copper and molten zinc. So I'm pretty sure if I take like... Well, I actually don't have a whole lot of capacity in here. So I need to do three at a time for now. But six zinc and then I think six gold, hopefully, might be able to do some of, some of it at least. Maybe. Oh, it actually smells fast. Oh, nice. Actually, six of, four, six of each is not going to cut it because we need... Oh, the tank is almost full. Oh, I didn't think about this. Yep, we, ne we need the big smeltery. All right. I think this should hopefully do the trick. Let's find out. Yes. Okay. Hopefully that is going to work. Almost there. All right, there we go, three blocks of a molden brass. So I should be able to just pour it in here, wait for it to solidify, and we have three blocks of brass. We're one step further towards getting an anvil, and then towards getting a hammer. Oh, there we go, first block of brass. This is another reason why it's really good to get into Tinkers early, because we're going to be using a lot of brass in Create. So getting the brass production up and going and available is definitely a huge plus. And then with all these three, we should be able to combine like so. And then we got a Tinkers Anvil. And with this, we got a lot more options available for us. And we don't even need the Tinker Station anymore. Oh, I used all my wood by accident. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, so now we can make a hammer. Very cool. As it says, it harvests blocks in a wide range. So I basically want to make this. So now I need to go through what I actually want to make it out of. However, I don't really have that many options. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and use iron. Oh dear, we have a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go ahead and use iron because that's just going to make this process a whole lot easier. 
However, before I can actually get to making this thing, I need to make some gold casts and cast these stone items right here. That's one. Two. Three. Boom. Perfect. So now I can place these down. Smelled a bunch of iron. I don't exactly know how much I'll need, but something like this is probably going to be fine. Here we go. Our first iron plate is done. One more. And that's that. Switch over to the hammerhead. I don't know how many ingots that's gonna take. Mm, the more than I had in there. <laughs> let's just maybe put in... Yeah, that's... Yep, yeah, that's fine. We're gonna use it anyway. And that's the hammerhead. Switch over to the tough handle. And that's the final component. Put all this together in here. Two plates, hammerhead and tough hammer. And that would go durability 1760. And sturdy... Five, six, four? I don't remember which one of those that is, but there we go. However, I believe I can, with a diamond, potentially, upgrade this to increase the durability and, of course, also the attack damage, but also the mining speed. So that is going to be definitely worth it. I believe we could toss on an emerald as well, which will increase the durability even more. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Now, something to increase the speed would be redstone. However, redstone, I feel, is quite valuable. So, oh, I think I've used all the upgrade slots. That's fine. This thing is exactly what I have been wanting. Oh, wait a minute. Loot. Is that a loot bee or is that a normal bee? Do we have a... Is there a beehive on this thing? Wait, how did this... Oh. oh okay. It was a loot bee. And we got a ripper. I wanted to make that anyway. <laughs> okay. Well then. I won't complain. Um, Chance cube. Warning. It is recommended you don't open these in or next to your base. You know what? Duly noted. Another good reason to make a tunnel that goes far away from home. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah. This is really, really, really nice. So now I can just do this. I can, oh, not like that. I can clear out an area very, very quickly if I want to make room. Say I want to make a really dark room for mobs to spawn. Look at the speed of this. And we could increase it with redstone if we increase the upgrade modifiers and whatnot. But this is just fine. Yes. That's awesome. Now, in the last episode, we set up this system with create right here, which I'm really, really happy with, by the way. And we need to continue. Um, if we go in here, what did I unlock? Oh, Tinker's tools. Hold on. Oh, a it heat a solid fuel source for the melter? Oh, I didn't make that. I'll have to do that uh, later because now we need to... Did I get a railgun? Oh, a backpack. Oh, that's awesome. This is an awesome thing. I don't know if I can equip this anywhere. Oh, I can. Perfect. Can I press B? Yeah, probably need to set up a keybind. But I got a railgun. Wow. I mean, I don't have power to use it, but it's a rail gun. A rail gun. I can be intimidating. <laughs> but like I was saying, with Create, we want to move on through this right here, and that is to get us to a crushing wheel. And I've done a little bit of research, and I believe that we can pull it off. Nom nom nom. But in order to make a crushing wheel, we need to set up mechanical crafting. So we need to make... 21 of these um so yeah this is gonna be interesting but this is why we needed the brass right here to be able to make brass casing we also need electron cube and polished rose quartz which we can get by combining redstone with quartz uh, nether quartz which is why the redstone is really valuable right now uh, and we can get nether quartz if we wash crushed gold ore or soul sand and to make soul sand, we need this setup right here, unless we go all the way over to the nether. I don't know how far away it is, but we can make soul sand this way using any, any, uh, any sand together with water and a mob soul in a mixer. This ma the mixer is not too hard to make, so that's pretty cool. Uh, mob soul has an 80% chance of spawning every time a mob dies. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make a big... Or not a big, but like a... I could also just... Nah. I'm gonna make... Maybe even just make this tunnel dark. 
Maybe that's gonna be enough. In the meantime, we can set up the mixer, which is really, really quite simple, actually. If I go ahead and take these, we just need to make a basin, which is just a bunch of andesite alloy. And then we need the mechanical mixer, which is andesite casing, a cogwheel, and a whisk. And the whisk is just so andesite alloy and some iron sheets, all of which are very accessible. Boom. Ooh, we got some guests. We got some get. What are those? I don't know what those are. I don't know what those are, but whatever it is, I'm going to kill it because we need soul thingies. That can't be that bad, right? It can. F it can fly. I'm killing it. I'm killing it. Yeah. Nope. Not on my watch. Oh, there we go. Mob soul. Got it. I can light this up now. <laughs> oh, you're scary. You're really scary. Yeah, I'm gonna light this up now. And here we go, mechanical mixer. Now, if I place this down real quick, as you can see, we have the cockwheel right there, which means I need a gearbox that essentially gives us a cockwheel that's facing that way. Hmm, where can I... I mean, over here could work, potentially. Oh yeah, in this corner is definitely going to work. If I place this here, and I just get another cockwheel real quick, like so, and place it there. That's gonna do that. Okay, sweet. That was very easy. Now I just need two of this. I need a... Actually, I just need one. Because all I need is some sand. Which I can get like this. And then water, which I also got right here. So we put water... Let's put some light first of all. Water. Set. No. <laughs> That's not how we do it. Sand like that, and then a mob soul. Oh. All right, so I've learned a little bit of a trick, and I want to give a shout out to Rocket14, who has, I've been watching his create videos, and they've really helped me understand, like the create mod and whatnot. But what we are able to do here, because of the way cocks work, we can place a big one in extension of the small one there. And as you can see, this big one now runs a lot faster than that one. I can then go ahead and place a smaller one, because the smaller is going to go a lot faster. And then I can actually repeat this process yet again, if I extend it out just so they don't touch each other. Or actually, I don't know if that's even necessary. I assume it is. I assume it is. Yes, it is, because then it, it goes into conflict with the other one, which makes complete sense. So I can place another big one, which then spins even faster than that one, and I can then place a small one, and then, okay, it's a little bit off, because that one is uh, turning clockwise, this is now turning anti-clockwise, but that should be then solvable with a simple gearbox, yes, which I can then turn into this, or oh, stressed. uh... There we go. I can just remove that, and wow, this thing is fast. <laughs> so I can now take that off. I don't know if I can then connect this now. No, I cannot. Then I will need to remove that. Okay, I think it's too fast for all of these items. That's quite interesting. Maybe if I... Hmm, let me try something. There we go. This is now running a lot faster. I basically just put it into a gearbox into another vertical gearbox and then into a normal gearbox and everything is going fine. However, when I do not want to use this, I need to do this, swap that over and I think, yes, this is then going to work, which is awesome. So that is that done. All of that for a single soul sand. Quick change to the create setup. I now have it this way, vertical gearbox, vertical gearbox, and then two normal gearboxes to make this turn the correct way because as I, I realized that with the other way, it was sucking air in, with the thing now turning anti-clockwise into, well, this entire setup. It's now pushing air out, so now it is as it should be. Now that we have this one soul sand, remember why we made it in the first place. We need to make the mechanical crafters, and in order to get those, we need this polished rose quartz, and we can only get that if we actually have quartz. And the reason why we have made this one soul sand is, if I remove this, Get rid of this. I'm gonna get put. Put. Oh dear. Oh no. Well, it's solvable like that. <laughs> and if I light this, we then have the blue soul flame. 
And if I drop some sand in there, and give it a little bit, boom. We now just ca- Wow. We just now casually have a stack of soul sand. Which if we then go ahead and extinguish the flame, do this, place the water back. We're not gonna wash that. We are, however, I think it's washing, right? Yes, if we wash this, that should hopefully turn into a bunch of quartz. Emphasis on hopefully. And moment of truth, 6,000 quartz. Perfect. So now, just for this process again, break this. Bring the one soul sand that we have. There we go. Place this there. That's going to burn my andesite. That was not intentional. I just burned all the sand. I'm used to it being... Like, good thing I have this much. Yeah, that's all calculated. So you can learn from my mistakes. And there we go. Even more soul sand. You know the drill by now. Actually, I think... Can I just leave the water there? I might be able to just leave the water there, you know. Uh, if I just put this here... Yeah, it's still gonna get washed. Okay. That's a lot cooler setup, and I can actually lay, make it even cooler now that I think about it. Let me just go ahead and break this. Put this. Dispenser. Empty bucket. Boop. <laughs> That's awesome. And there we go, we got glowstone and a bunch more nether quartz. This should be plenty. So I've just made some calculations. We need to make this recipe seven times, which means we need seven electron cubes, and then we need seven polished rose quartz. So we can make just enough, which will look at that. That is perfect. Now I believe what we do is, I don't actually know how we do this. <laughs> I have no idea how we do this. Uh, yeah, hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Rose quartz here, sandpaper here. And just like so, we are getting the cubes that we need. I forgot the name of them. Polished rose quartz. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Seven. Awesome. And just like that, we got seven electron tubes. Next, we need some brass casing, which we are now well educated in making. Then we turn this into brass ingots, we right click all of these blocks, and just like so, we now are able to make 21 mechanical crafters. So, I guess let's set this up, however, there is one more thing that I do want to make, and that is the wrench from Create, which does require three gold plates, and just like so, oh yeah, oh, I should have a half wheel, do I not have a half wheel? There we go, of course I always have a cogwheel. There we go. All right. Let me think how to set this up. Because we need, for the crushing wheel, we need a 3x3 three three and then 3 on each side in order to make this thing. All right, I think I got this all figured out, maybe. So if we go ahead and place them like this. So first off, we go ahead and place them in a 3x3. Three three. Then we go ahead and add one up there. A row here, a row here, and then get on top, if at all possible. Place this here, here, and here. Okay. Yeah, that's not looking too bad. Now what you need to do is, you see these arrows here, we can change the direction of this, and we want this to all eventually lead up at, or to the center. So if I... Do something maybe like this. Oh yeah, it needs to go down to, to the spot. Hold on. Okay, I think the setup would work. These three go down, then they combine in here, they all go in here, or from here, go here, or here, in here, and then eventually makes their way down to the spot. I think I did it. Maybe. We're gonna find out in just a moment. Because the big time has come for us to finally make the crushing wheel, which should be relatively easy. Just need some andesite or I guess cobblestone might be able to work as well. Yeah, stone, cobblestone. Uh, well, I don't know about cobblestone actually. Anyway, a bunch of andesite alloy and wood. I think I have it all. Uh, do I have enough? I don't think I have enough andesite alloy. Okay, here goes. Andesite in the middle. Wood planks out here. And then the rest should just be andesite alloy. And I think all we gotta do now is place a cogwheel there. 
That doesn't work. All right, guys, after a lot of sweat and almost tears and a bunch of research later, I found out how to power this thing. So I went over and I looked at how Chosen Architect had set up his um, mechanical crafter. And well, he set it up with three water wheels separate just for the mechanical crafter. So all I think I need to do is place the final water in here, block it off so we don't get that. And I think this should be enough to turn it on. Yes! It's on! It has turned on. You have no idea how happy that makes me. Um, <laughs> so now I believe um, that we... Okay, so it will only start working once the entire thing is turned out, is like filled out or it gets a redstone signal. So I should be able to just put all of this stuff in here. Place that. And there we go. Honestly, it's not super slow. Oh, that's satisfying. And the sound as well. Oh, and a loopy. This is satisfying, though. I can take these off now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a sight for sore eyes. Into the last one. Bing, and... There we go. We have gotten ourselves two crushing wheels at long last. Now I'm just going to go ahead and steal that because it it's loud. Oh, the bee is dropping loot. What do we got? Some copper, an egg, another egg, a stick, a battery, starter battery. I'll take it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to set up the crusher question is where do we want it to be i'm thinking i want this to lead down to the andesite however i might just make an elevator at some point later in the future but i think over here it's gonna be a pretty nice place so i'm gonna clear an area here clear an area set it up and then we'll get to set up the crushing wheel at long last all right guys it is time so let's go ahead and do this so we're gonna place water wheels here like so and yeah i'm gonna need to turn around do it like this because they need to be facing the correct way because currently right now we're gonna place the water here these are gonna be turning this way and these are gonna be doing uh gonna be turning this way which is very important and i can now place i can move this place cobblestone here place here and here need to place water there there need one extra bucket now I want to be able to make this quick. Boom. Aha. That was faster than the water. Now we go ahead and place a gearbox here and a gearbox here. We're just going to make it so that it, the, both of these are turning against each other or towards each other. Then, uh, by the way, the wall and whatnot is not looking super nice. I'll make it look nice in between episodes, okay? Um, but now we can now place our crushing wheel right there. Crushing wheel right here. And that's that done. It, it should be working. If I go ahead and take... What do we got? We got some gravel. We also got some sand. I don't know if we can crush sand. It does not look like it. But so now we can go ahead and I'll need some sort of stairway. Or I think I can actually place a hopper. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to test. But we place the, uh, the gravel in there. And out should come a bunch of useful things. It's quite a cool animation, actually. And sound effect. I'll be right back when it drops. Check it out. We got the stuff. What do we got? We got tin. We got bauxite. We got osmium, zinc, iron, and lead. And I think we got some coal as well. This is going to be our new way of getting, well, iron and coal, first of all. Uh, instead of using this thing right here because we need to get lead and tin and osmium in order to get to do other stuff so yeah there we go and i'm currently working on something else that i'm hoping is gonna work i don't know if it will though i'm gonna place those there i'm gonna use a harper i'm gonna place a chest there and andesite funnel and if i then go ahead and grab some more gravel and place it in this chest and then maybe it needs a redstone signal. Aha, it has an arrow. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's... It did one at a time. Oh, it does some gradually. I mean... 
that works, I guess. I mean, the other stuff took ages for a stack, so it's it's actually f fast regardless. If I just do this, Inter I'm inter interrupting the satisfaction here a little bit. If I place a chest here, and a hopper fit, mm, and a hopper facing inwards. There we go. Also, I've gone ahead and made this system right here, the compacting drawers, and they're not super expensive. They're they're affordable. So above the cobblestone generator tier one, which by the way we can upgrade. I'm gonna steal that actually. Um, I should be able to just cook up some of those. And then put this thing in there. Um, but what I was saying was, I made this system here, where I can say I want to take... Oh! Oh, you scared me. Where did you come from? I thought I was safe this entire time. Must have been from like here. Yeah, I need to light the, uh, the place up a little bit better. <laughs> that scared me. What I was saying was, I can now go ahead and I can take... Let's say... Nine of these. They're two time pressed... Uh, com uh, cobblestone. I can go ahead and do this, which means I'm gonna get a ton of gravel if my inventory wasn't already full. I can go ahead and just add it all into this one. Just double click on it. And then I can grab it all out again, but as compressed. So I don't have to use the crafting table and craft them manually. I think this is a pretty cool setup. So I keep doing it for the dirt as well, just like so. And yeah, that's pretty nice. All right, I have a ton of gravel here I want to put into this thing. But before we do that, I think... Oh dear, I didn't think about that. Uh, yeah, you know what, this should probably... Oh dear, this... Mm. Oh, I forgot. Oh, dear me. Huh. What I was about to do was I was about to make an iron chest into a gold chest. And then put that chest. Uh, what am I missing here? Yep, yep. Six glass. Six glass. I thought something was off. Do like so. Diamond. This thing is much bigger. It takes quite a while to mine up, which, you know, totally makes sense. Please don't just go away. Okay, there we go. I can now break this. Then place this. And. There we go. And now I can just put all this in there. And I can just leave it to it. That's pretty awesome. And from this, we're gonna get quite a lot of resources. That's awesome. And our seared stone is now complete. So we should be able to put that in there. I hope it's enough. Maybe it's not. There we go. That was the final bit. It needed two blocks, three ingots, and a little bit extra. And there we go. Cobblestone generator tier two, ready to be placed down. And then I'll probably do this process off camera because it's a lot. Let's quickly take a look at all the stuff that we got. Get a bunch of random quests uh, or rewards, I should say. We got, yep, all of this done, all of this. We're pretty much done with this part. I need to make this and then take this entire tree off right there but yeah that is pretty much like getting started done i just got another cobblestone generator tier two you know what i'm actually happy with that because we'll be able to use that for something else hopefully anyway i got a spyglass that's cool some comparators an electric motor okay laser wrench from laser io a linking tool always welcome all of it. But yeah, guys, like I said, that's gonna be it for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're brand new, enable those notifications if you haven't done so yet. And I hope to see you in the next one, where I believe we might start diving into one of these two storage mods. I still need to decide which one. Let me know which one you think I should go for down below in the comments, applied logistics, or refined storage. Let me know down below, because this right here, yeah, it, it just it just won't it it won't do. And yeah, we need to do something about it ASAP. But I also do want to do a little bit of exploration. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Hope you enjoyed this one. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. And until next time, bye-bye.